Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the UFO Planet Sightings and News Report. I'm your host Darren Crapo. On today's program we have some of the most recent UFO sightings submitted from around the planet. We're going to get that started right after this. Welcome back to the program and I want to say thank you to everyone for tuning in and I want to welcome all our returning viewers and I want to welcome our new viewers whether they're tuning in on YouTube, for you 2 ctv or on Roku, Roku rather streaming television. I appreciate each and every one of you and thanks for tuning in. We're going to begin today's program by taking a look at some of the headline news stories from around the planet that had something to do with UFO. We're going to head first to the HuffPost Weird News for a posting about the Tucson UFO mystery and they say that the mystery has been revealed. I don't necessarily agree with them and just because it's in the news doesn't mean it's real or true. And what they're saying is that many of you will remember this sighting that happened on the 4th of July of this past year. The date on the video that we're looking at there right now is incorrect. This is a July 4th video. And what they were saying is they, they kind of had an explanation that this was something up on the side of the mountain, like a vehicle or whatever. And kind of the flashing that you're seeing is of the vehicle driving behind trees. Now, I'm not sure that I buy into that. And like I say, just because someone else has an opinion and puts it online does not make it gospel. You have to remember everyone's looking at the same very dark UFO video. And I'm not sure that there's anyone that's expert enough to really look at that and say that's exactly what we're looking at. Nonetheless, it's interesting to see that people have opinions. We're going to head next to the Sp Express. This is an interesting story, you guys. The charred corpse of an alien was found at the site of a meteor impact which almost ended life on Earth. Now this is the charred remains of the alien. This story wasn't, well, I wouldn't call it the most, the best written story on earth because it kind of gave you the impression that this may have been an alien that they found that was a result of the initial impact that killed all the dinosaurs. But then they go on to talk about this new meteorite and th that happened to fall in the same area of the planet and that's where this little alien resulted from. So they kind of confused themselves all within the same information that they provide here. But now we're looking at what we is the new meteor strike, or at least we think it's a meteor strike. Maybe it's a UFO crash, folks. In any case, it's unidentified. It was a flying object, so maybe it is. Here's the alien again. And, I, you know, you have to take a look at these stories and take them with a grain of salt sometimes. That's all I'm going to say. Use your noggin. Daily Post, is this a UFO filmed hovering low over the Caermarthen Castle? We're going to head here to Wales now. This is one of the most famous landmarks in Wales. And I'm sorry if I pronounced the name incorrectly. I hope I got it right. And uh, because I have lots of rallies over there in Wales. Hello, Aunt Retta. Hopefully you're watching here. You have UFOs. This is interesting. This is something that's over the castle there. Now they went on in the article to add some disclaimers and they said, you know, it could be a, it could be a, a, a drone, it could be an aircraft, it could be a helicopter, it could be a bird. It, it also could be Santa Claus. I mean, you could add anything you wanted to that list, right? It is an unidentified flying object though. So we know that for sure. And it kind of has that saucer shape to it. If it's, a, if it's a drone, it looks like a saucer. If it's an aircraft, it looks like a saucer. <laughs> if it's a helicopter, it looks like a saucer. At least that's Darren Crapo's opinion then for what it's worth. But that's interesting over in Wales. There's always something happening somewhere on the planet. And that exciting experience came from Wales. We have a lot more coming up on the program yet today. You're going to want to stick around. Some of that includes uh, a fascinating UFO sighting 
that was recorded in high definition, it, it's going to blow your sixes off. UFO planet. Welcome back to the program. I just want to mention about the Roku television, streaming television, which we're now part of. And thank you so much, Roku. You can now watch UFO Planet in ultra high definition there. And we're also going to have programming that's only available on our Roku channel. The way you add it is to go to Roku.com and click on add new channel and enter in channel code GNKKLH. And then you'll see our channel appear on your Roku and you can watch us there. Now, if you missed that number or that code, you can just, it's going to appear a couple more times in the program. But right now it's time for us to get started with some UFO sightings. These are UFO sightings that have happened, you know, just about everywhere all over the planet. And they have been submitted to UFO Planet or to For You 2 ctv We're going to begin in Manassas, Virginia over on the eastern seaboard there of the United States. Well, not right on the sea, but pretty darn close to it. This was for a sighting that took place just this past September 7th. I found this one really interesting, folks. You can see the object kind of in the center of the screen there right now as it ascends up into the clouds. According to the submitter, what happened is he saw this object and it was kind of flying in a, a, an orderly fashion. It was very reflective, seemed to be changing physically or rotating. And you're going to notice that when you look at it here in the video just coming up. But he says after about two minutes of it traveling from the northwest to the northeast, still moving laterally, he noticed that it all of a sudden picked up an enormous amount of speed and started to ascend rapidly. And we're going to see it pop out of the clouds there, cloud cover there now. And you can see it kind of looks like something that's tumbling. Now, if this was going up and tumbling or down and tumbling, I can understand. But as near as I can tell, the laws of gravity are still applying in that part of the world. So why would it be going up unless there is some sort of propulsion system or it's been captured in some sort of a, a, a current that is rising up fast? I don't think so because we would have seen disturbance in the clouds then as well. Manassas, Virginia in the United States of America, September 7th. If you have an explanation for that, I would absolutely love to hear from you. Next, we're going to go to India. This is an experience that happened on August 14, 2015, and it's an experience that involved a husband and his wife. According to the husband, he was in the house enjoying himself, and his wife comes running in the house and says something to the effect that there's a bloody UFO over our backyard to his response of grabbing his camera and heading out to record it. Unfortunately, he didn't see it in the backyard. He had to move to a different position, but he did see it. And we can see in the enhanced photo, it's just a small object. So I zoom in there. And this is the UFO that experience that the husband and wife shared together. This comes to us from India. A name, a town that Gurgaon, Gurgaon, I may as well butcher them all, right? Next, we're going to go to Sweden. We're going to go to a community named Malmo. And this is for a sighting that occurred on September 6th. Sweden is a beautiful country. And I have a lot of viewers from Sweden. Thank you so much for your participation. This one's from your country. This is strange lights on the street. Now, what happened here is this fellow saw some strange lights, kind of look how they're flashing there. He kind of moves the camera around. You can see that there's not much around there that he says is creating light. I did see an Ikea in the background and I couldn't help but wonder if this isn't the woman in the commercial that runs out of the Ikea real fast, yelling to her husband, start the car, start the car. 
<laughs> that might be all that's left after after security caught up with her. But that's an interesting one. And as I mentioned before, that comes to us from Sweden. And he says he came back a few hours later and the light was still flashing like that on the street. If it were me, I would kind of put my hand in it until I figured out where it was coming from and then follow the source. Chances are you're going to find something that's reflective, that is reflecting that onto the street. If you have a UFO sighting and you don't know what it is or you do know what it is, I would love to hear from you. Email me, Darren, at 4u2ctv.com. And I also appreciate those who submit to MUFON.com. It's an absolutely great repository. It makes it available to the world. And then you get an expert looking at your sighting. If you prefer, though, you're more than welcome to just email it to me. We have a lot more coming up on today's program, and in, including our five sightings in a row and our hot video clip of the day that I think is pretty amazing. I hope you do too. Welcome back to the program, folks. It's time to get started right away with our five in a row UFO sightings. These are five sightings that have been submitted either to 4 u 2 ctv to my email account or at MUFON. And I just want to mention as well that all the, the sightings that you see in our ticker across the bottom of the page come to us directly from MUFON. They're what you around the planet have been reporting. But let's get started right away with our five sightings and we're going to head first to Vallejo, California for an interesting UFO sighting. This one comes with audio. I'm sure some of you will guess what it is. Check it out. Yeah, what the hell? Isn't that incredible? They're like flares. Yeah, many of them there are though. And they just keep coming. It's weird. I mean, that isn't the strangest thing you've seen in a while. They're probably not alien craft, but they're definitely unidentified. What the hell are they? And what's the point? What are they? I don't know. They seem to be coming from over there. They're probably bags with fire in them. I'm guessing. It's some sort of Because they're blowing in a uniform way, you know? You know what they kind of uh, remind me of? What? Um, it's almost like one of those Asian parties where, like, they, they have the... Uh, the ball lanterns, and they they, they they let them all out in the in the air, and they blow. Away. Vallejo, California, in the United States of America, lights in the sky. How many of you know what you're looking at? I'd really like you to comment in the comment section. Next, we're going to go to a Damien Knott video shot in Balcom Hills in New South Wales, Australia. This is kind of an experience in the raw format that he shared with his partner. Check this out. This is how hard it is to capture a UFO video. Okay. We have a UAP in the sky up here. A white object. Um, and up close with the binoculars seem to be radiating a kind of blue, bluish kind of effect. Can you still see it? I've just lost it. I think it's moving up towards the top of the, those clouds now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see it. It's to the right of the seven now. Yeah. Interesting sighting, Damien. I appreciate you sending this in to me. What I thought was interesting is to see how really difficult it is to capture a UFO video. 
It's not as easy as you think, and if you think it is, take your cell phone outside and try and capture an airplane that you know it is flying over your house. Try and capture that and just see. You'll see how much time and effort that people like Damien are putting into fascinating sightings like we're looking at here on the screen right now. This is happening all over the world, folks. You just have to look up and you'll see it. This particular one, Balcom Hills, New South Wales, Australia, August 30th, 2015, by Damien Knott, Friends of UFO Planet. Next, we're gonna head to Reno, Nevada in the United States of America. This is one of those uh, beautiful places in Nevada that you can go and have a really great time. And apparently, aliens like it too. Take a look here. Now, this was sent in to me I saw a couple of things that really stood out to me. This one, I kind of thought that might be a chip in the windshield or, you know, I wasn't sure because it looks like there's kind of a vapor trail behind it, doesn't it? But I thought that one might look like a chip, but this one certainly doesn't look like a chip, even in the slightest. We have a white item there with kind of looks like something up on top. I don't think there's any bug splats look that organized. That came to us from, from, from Reno, Nevada, July 24th, 2015. Next, we're gonna go for a Manchester, England sighting sent in by Shotgun Stanbo. Appreciate everyone who sends in the videos. Just wanna give you a reminder to make sure you include the who, what, where, when, and why with every video. This is really interesting. Not sure the date it was taken because Shotgun didn't provide that, but take a look at that object passing through or in front of that cloud. I thought that was absolutely amazing. Excellent work, Shotgun. Shotgun has sent me quite a few videos, so I'll feature some of his videos on the show and I'm gonna email him so I can try and get some dates out of him. Thanks so much, Stanbo. You're a true bud for your participation in the program today. It's amazing footage. I really enjoyed it. We're going to go next to Oklahoma. It always reminds me of that musical. And quite frankly, I've seen it so many times that if I see it again, anyway, we've all been there, haven't we? September 8, 2015. Looks like a nice day there, but look up into the sky. You know what I think, and I know what you're thinking. This guy says, at first I believed it could be a light reflection, but no lights were on to create the reflection. Light in the room is a four independent bulb ceiling fan and does not look anything like a UFO. Well, I don't know. I guess I would just have to say that your UFO looks like a light fixture then because it certainly has that light fixture reflection look to it. What do you guys think we're looking at? That's it for our top five or for our five sightings in a row on today's program. We still have our top video clip of the day coming up. And this one, well, I promise you that it's something that you're going to be able to count on. back to the program it's time it's the time in our program when we have our hot video clip of the day this is an absolutely amazing sighting that comes to us from california and it's one of the clearest sightings that i've ever shown on the program and at the same time it's one of the fuzziest sightings i've decided to show you the entire raw footage that was sent in you're just going to have to have a look and see for yourself Where the fuck do you come?
Where'd it go? Is it a bird? There we go. Mom, look at this. A snowbird. Oh my god, we got one. We got a UFO? That's a UFO? Unless someone's flying a big number in the sky. Where'd it go? Up there by the uh, top of those, that gray ridge of It's going further down. Oh, there he is. Where? Okay. Where? See that great gray arrow of cloud? That. There it is. UFO, Faye. Big time. What is that? Did it just vanish? Nope. I can see it. Let me see. It's going to end up behind these trees, though. If you're over here, where I am, you could probably see it better. I just want to try and keep the camera steady. Can you see it? It's like a big flying six. Big flying what? Six. Six? Yeah, it's like a no An unidentified object over Ocala, California. Isn't that an amazing sighting? And at times it was very clear. Looks like a six or it looks like a nine, depending on where you're standing. From where I was standing, it was amazing enough to make the hot video clip of the day status. I want to say thank you to everyone according to what I'm looking at here. We have covered everything on today's program. That means it's time to call her a day. I want to say thank you to everyone who has submitted videos for today's program. I sincerely appreciate it. And thank you to all of you who post comments on YouTube. And for those of you who have recently joined us on Roku. I'll be back again on Monday next week. Until then, I'm Darren Crapo and I hope you have yourselves a fantastic week.